Hi, it's Lou Agave of Long Island Lou Tequila on Facebook, Instagram, and the web. Thanks for looking at my YouTube channel. Please subscribe today. You can't take it with you. I just picked this up in a raffle, and it's not lasting too long on these shelves over here behind me. It's going to get popped, and we're going to show you guys about it and talk about it. This is what got a lot of us old-timers into the game. This is the year 2000. This is Pre-Diffuser. Herodora, NAM 1119, from the valley, around in the Matitan area. This Herodora is... Like I say, pre-diffuser. You know, Brown Foreman took them over and they ended up using a diffuser, a big commercialized mass-produced machine that, in my opinion, makes inferior uh, tequila. Um, they started using that around 2001 to 2010. Now they don't use it anymore except for on some of their products, but not Herodora. Herodora, this was the baby. This was what I got a lot of people tasted for the first time. If they weren't, you know, getting sick on Cuervo and this and that. And then, you know, uh, Patron was out. But this guy here was really, the. this was it. You know, if you get your hands on the old school uh, Herodora um, in the 90s, you know, uh, some of them would have high proofs and all of that you were you were in you were really in delicious flavors pure natural fruity really nice stuff so we're gonna pop this open i had it a long time ago when i was much younger and i recall how great it was haven't had it since so like i say just want it we're gonna open it up i got a couple other head doors and um i'm gonna show you so these are the other ones i have and these are all from the year 2000 the Reposado on the left, and we got a Blanco, and then we have a Suave in the middle there, and then we have another Blanco, all Mexican versions, all 40 proof, and this is what got a lot of people into the game here. Okay, okay, so now you got to realize, look at the size of this bottle. So this is a 950, okay? This is a big ML. This is a big bottle, okay? And it's beautiful. You know, Her Herodora, this is the Mexican, they're all Mexican that I have. They're all 40 proof, as I say. And we're going to test out this uh, Reposado when Reposado was really clean and really nice. Of course, I don't believe that they're... Uh, Products today are made the same way, although I believe they're still aged 11 months in oak. And uh, go in the comments, guys. Let's talk about reminisce about you older guys, the ones that started on this, and a couple of the other older brands. So let's give it a pop. Here we go. Ah, nice. Ooh. Oh, wow. That's some real fruit there. Sometimes with these old pours, you have to shake it up and down. I remember when I was starting out and I got I had one of these. The old timer said you could stand there all day and hold it upside down, nothing's gonna come out till you shake it up and down. And a lot of times they were right. So oh man. Uh, you know like uh fruit. Okay, so we're talking about uh like dried fruit, sweet, spice, herbal. I have nothing to go on really. I mean it's been a long time. Oh, wow, this is really nice. This is really nice. So, guys, this is the kind of stuff, you know, the new stuff's not like this anymore. You know, this is, as you can see here, we're in the year 2020, and it's been one hell of a year, hasn't it? So, this is 20 years old, and actually, it's older than that, because think about it. This is the bottling date when they put it on the inside. If I could, if I was aware, I could show you. You could look through the bottle. See the dates back there on top of the label on the other side of the bottle? So that's where it'll say 2000. That's what all mine say. So you figure it's been aged already. So, you know, it's probably been like, what is it, 11 months. So this is close to 1999, you know, and then by the time they uh, bottle it, they just put the date on at that point. So, wow, it's just, just spice. And like I say, uh, like baking spices, you know, pepper a little bit. But the fruit and the sweetness. Mm. Wow. Oh, wow. Like a pineapple. Not so much of those green apple thing. And that's good. I'm not crazy about that stuff. That's more in that suave I showed you. But it's fruity. Sweet. Definitely nice sweetness. Some citrus, you know, some like maybe a little bit of citrus. Mostly your uh, fruit. And just spicy, clean, sweet. Man, while I look at this bottle even further, 
I'm telling you, I'm picking up whiskey, honey, iced tea, caramel, brown sugar notes. Simply delicious. Guys, you can't take it with you. You know, I got all this stuff over here. I think I said this has been in the house like four days. Figured I'd check it out and I would uh, show you guys about it. This is old school. If, it was, if I was rating it on Tequila Matchmaker right now today as a reposado and I ran into this. Jeez, I am. 89. Okay. That's how good this is. This is really good. This is old school, year 2000, pre diffuser, Hedora, Reposado. I think you guys would like it. It was made the right way. It was all oven cooked. It was, uh, they used uh, natural yeast from the area, local wild yeast, double distilled in all copper. And they did a slow distillation back then. There was a lot of differences from what's going on today, okay? Agaves, of course, everything's different after 21 years ago. So enjoy. If you ever run into this, guys, you can, you know, try to check them out. It's the Herodora Pre-Diffuser. This is Reposado. Old school and delicious. You can't take it with you.